morning everyone and welcome back to Life of Avalon. So let me just tell you, this whole week has been a crazy one for a variety of reasons, but first and foremost, it was just busy and I filmed an entire week's worth worth of um, vlog content and I was excited about it. It was going to be this week. I was going to post it on Sunday and then once again, I had one of those moments where I was just watching it over and I was like, mm, I don't really like it. Like I'm kind of bored and we all know that's the worst thing. So I woke up early this morning just because I don't know why I've just been waking up early and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just like make a day of this and get ready and go downtown and do some shopping. And I have like a lot of things I kind of want to get. So I'm thinking I'll do all that and then bring it back and show you all. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So yep, just got up, did my hair, did my makeup. Um, oh, fun fact, Sebastian is actually coming back tonight. Um, it's been about a month, I think, since I've seen him. And he's coming back. My birthday is next week. And um, we're going to go skiing. We're going to go to the Cape with a bunch of friends. So his flight gets in tonight, which I'm really excited about. And I think we're just going to veggie chill it out. But let's get this day started and hit the mother freaking road. Here we go. Outfit of the day. Words can't describe how dirty this mirror is. It has like all of these stains. It's been a few months since I washed it. Anyway, wearing this Lululemon camo zip up. I love this thing. I wear it all the time. And then just my Lululemon joggers. Gonna pop some sneaks on. Um, a coat, maybe a hat, maybe not, depending on how cold it is. Um, and that's the fit. <laughs> The most beautiful change of events. Bella and Mikey, so they were staying over at Mikey's last night and then they just walked in the door. And as you all know, Bella has a car. So I can now use the car to go get all my items as opposed to taking the tea, which is fine. Fully anticipating that this morning, but it's just so much easier when you can get in the car, drive, park, get out, shop, and come back. So beautiful. We love that. And now I'm actually going to go. Okay. All right, we've arrived. So basically I made the executive decision to come to the Chestnut Hill um, Mall. It's not actually the mall. If you're around here, you probably, if you live around here, you might know the difference, but there's like a mall, like a physical mall. And then there's um, like an outdoor shopping center where there's like a soul cycle and anthropology, free people, all that stuff. And they have a parking lot. So I just decided to come here to do my shopping. And um, they also have like a sweet green and like a Starbucks. So lately considering popping in there afterward. Also look, you have to use the bathroom. So we have a few things that I need to navigate, but um, anyway, let's go shopping and I will see you all after the fact and show you the goodies I got. So uh, <laughs> I went a little um, crazy and I got a decent amount of things you know I mean I was in one of those moods where I wanted items so I wasn't like stopping myself but yeah I probably got an excess of high neck tank tops let me just let me just say that before I get into the whole like showing you phase when I get back home yeah I, I recognize that I probably got a few too many but I'm loving all of the items I'm really excited about them and I'm really excited to show you. So I'm not going to say that like I'm upset with myself because I'm not. But yeah, probably went just a tad overboard. Um, but also got some Starbucks. I just got a venti ice cream tea. I'm like really in the mood for something refreshing. I already had my latte as you all saw this morning. So I don't really need like a hot coffee anymore. But I'm like, 
vibing for something fresh, you know? So now back home and I'll give you all a little try on of all the items. Um, I also got like a hair tie and I was like, kept like putting my hair up and down to try and see if it looked good. And I got my hair frizzy, but you know, it's a Saturday and I'm not gonna see anybody except for my roommates. So I don't really care. Anyway, off we go. Enjoying this beautiful ice cream tea. I accidentally swallowed a piece of ice. Ciao. See you at home. So I'm gonna start with the start start with the stuff I got from Anthropology because it's the least amount of stuff. I went a little crazy in fruit people because free people is my favorite. So one of the things I really wanted to find and like I looked in free people and they didn't have exactly what I wanted, but they had it in, in anthropology is a big, beautiful hair clip with this design. And it came in a pack of two. Honestly, not thrilled about this color. I just don't think it goes super well with my hair. I think it goes prettier with like brown hair. But anyway, it came in a pack. So we have that. But let's see how this looks on. We'll do that after the fact because I also have a hair tie to show you. But second item is this. Pretty excited. It's just like a tank top, but it's a super, super soft material. Um, I could sleep in it. I could wear it under sweaters. I could wear it under like a workout top like this. In the summer, I could easily wear this like on top of jeans or on top of workout clothes just as is. So this is the first item. Let's see it on big fan of this already. This coloring is so pretty. This is why I love pale pink because I think on my skin tone, just being fair skinned, it goes really well. Like I have pink undertones as opposed to like orangey yellow undertones. So pink and me, we're best friends, but obviously I can't show you the whole thing. So let me bring you over to the mirror. All right. So this is it obviously um, in the mirror. I'm still wearing my joggers with some spandex underneath. So I'll wear this while I put on all of my tank tops, but um, that is the back. It doesn't go into like a one, one strap like some of these do. It has two straps, but again, just a super soft, like stretchy material. So huge fan of this one, I like it. And now let me just show you all of the free people stuff. And then I'll just show you it all in the mirror because there's no point in going back and forth. So maybe one of the items I'm most excited about are these pants. Technically they're like in their beach collection. And I think that's because like, this is supposed to be something that you wear over something. Cause it isn't like, it doesn't cover basically your like underwear and stuff underneath. It is a little bit see-through, but you could wear nude underwear or wear something underneath and have it look pretty good. But I definitely wouldn't go walking around the city in this. Do you know what I mean? But it still is perfect for the summertime and they're just long, they're knitted uh, material, obviously white, they have pockets. So I'll show that to you on. And now onto the rest of the items and I'll just let you know right now. They're, they're all tank tops except for one. So another high neck tank, all of these materials, so, so soft. I think this is actually part of their activewear collection. Um, another tank, this one, oops, sorry, lighting. Um, this one, another high neck tank, again, soft material, material, but more like this knitted look, which I love. And I really like the white. Again, all of these I can wear like in the summer as is or under anything or just lounging or to sleep. And that's like the kind of stuff I live in every single day. I live in like loungewear. And then like when I get dressed up, I put on real clothes, but like the majority of my my closet, my bureau is like loungewear and stuff that I just want to like throw on in the morning or throw on after a shower and be comfy in, you know? So it makes sense for me to like stock up on those items. Again, another one, and this I know is for sure from their like activewear team um, and like a creamy color. And this is ribbed as opposed to like that knitted. And then this, you actually saw me wearing the black version of this the other day. Um, but I like this color because again, it's that like kind of pale pink. And again, something I can wear like seven days a week. And then the last item, where is the last item? Oh, it fell in my laundry bin is this. And it's just a giant silky scrunchie and I'm pretty excited about it. So before I show you the hair items, let me just show you all of the clothes. 
All right, so this is that pale pink tank top. It's like the least exciting. That's why I kind of wanted to start it with it. It does have black straps, which actually isn't my favorite. Like I would love if the strap color matched this kind of pale beigey pink, but that's okay. Again, super basic, comfortable, could live in it at all times. I can't lie, this one might be my favorite so far. It's like gray, which isn't super up my alley. And normally I like don't love gray, but it's just so, so freaking comfortable and cute and like the perfect crop length. And I love the neckline, so soft. Not much to explain here, but huge fan of it. Oh, to show you the back. I didn't show you the back on the other one, but it's kind of like that first one, just the two thin straps, they don't meet in the middle, but the back on this one. So that's the back just like a full back, which I also like because it makes it even more comfortable. Like nothing's digging into you, you know? So that's this guy. Words can't describe how much I like all of these. Like I want to wear them all today and for every single day to come. But same, I think it actually might be the exact same tank top, but the material is different. Um, and obviously the color. So this is like that ribbed material I showed you. And then the back, so that's the back again, full back, high neck. And then this is like a better, oh, sorry, not ribbed. This is like that weird, like knitted, but soft material. So like super, super, super soft, but like um, almost like dots as opposed to ribs. So that's this guy. Last but not least in tank top land, before I bring you to the land of beach pants and scrunchies is this guy. So this is that ribbed material. All of these like are really though like that same like super super soft like workouty material almost like leggings like I don't really know exactly how to describe it but like softer than leggings like I picture this to be the same I've never owned a um, Fabletics like legging or anything but this is what I picture it to be because I always talked about it being like buttery soft like legging material and I think that's kind of this vibe but this is like tan sandy kind of like off colored here but really pretty and then for the back. So this is the back on this guy. It like meets in the middle um, as opposed to like being a full back, um, like a razor back is I think what it's called. Anyway, so it's really good for like working out, but just so you all know, it doesn't have any built in like bra or anything, which is like one of the only things that I have trouble with in terms of like, I could never work out in this. Like the girls would be bouncing around and I just wouldn't be comfortable. So I would have to wear like a sports bra or something underneath all of these if we we're gonna work out in them um, and be comfortable, but still could easily like pop a sports bra on underneath or again, wear it as loungewear. But every single one of these like tank tops and I, we're gonna be best friends, but now onto the pants. All right, so these are the pants. Like if this outfit doesn't make you wanna go walk on the beach, I simply don't know what would. Like, oh, this, I'm just so excited to go to Maine in these. And like, we're going to Arizona in a few weeks. And like, to be able to wear this by the pool, if it's warm enough, would be everything. Okay, so like I showed you earlier, it's this, earlier, it's this knitted material, but these are the pockets, um, which are huge and really nice. But like I said, like if I were wearing dark underwear under here, you would be able to see it. Like there's nothing that is like aligning in between this knitted material and your skin. So just keep that in mind. This is the length. I'm like five, eight and a half, almost five, nine. So they're pretty long. So like if you're, I don't know, like shorter, they would be a bit longer, which I actually wouldn't have a problem with. I like long items, but just a heads up for all the people who are slightly shorter than me and then in terms of the back so i don't really know the best way to show this to you but basically like nothing fancy going on like so you can even see the tag back there like that's how see-through it is but no seam or anything except for up here in between like the butt cheeks but very basic very very beach vibe now onto the two hair things and then i think we can call them today in like the clothing haul category wouldn't you agree back to the window for these ones. Might be most excited about this, I can't lie. So I think if I wanted my hair to like stay up um, for a long time, I would most likely put a real hair tie on underneath this hair tie in order to just keep it sturdy because like a lot of these I found like don't actually keep your hair that tight, but this silky material is 
perfect for me because like I am on a mission to grow my hair long and beautiful and healthy and some hair ties can be really bad for doing that because it pulls out your hair but silk kind of like silk bed sheets or silk pillows um is a lot more gentle on your hair so it's just like better overall so I really liked that this was that way and if you guys are interested in getting this there's like so many colors like blues creams whites blacks the whole shebang so let me show you in the back obviously i can't see it but hopefully you'll get a good idea um this is it i've tied it i've twisted it three times um but like i said i would probably put in a hair tie if i wanted to like stay for a long time and then put this on on top of it but i just really like it so far like a lot and now onto this hair clip actually let me get back to you because i need to cut off this stupid thing i don't really want to break it all right so last thing is this big boy clip um i'm blanking on actually what you call this pattern but i know it has a name and then this guy that i'm like medium excited about so again if we're being honest i'm not super good in the world of like clips like i haven't used them a ton but i want to be better so let's see what we can get going here. So I think what I would do is I would do like a half up, half down kind of vibe like this. And then let's see what we're working with in the back with it in. Oh, dang girl. She's not looking too shabby. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get a better picture of this somehow. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but we're going to figure it out just took a picture on self-timer mode and like i kind of really like it like this is getting me so excited for oh excuse that it's getting me so excited for the summertime like oh, this whole vibe i'm so excited for it to be warm and nice i'm not even going to show you this one because we all know exactly what it's going to look like it's just a different color and a smaller version of this exact same thing so with all of that beautiful information about all of my new clothes i think i'm gonna call it a day with you all but um legit today is like my perfect day wake up early go like make a latte go like shopping like find things that like inspire you clothing wise and then like create content for all of you guys and then like relax read a book watch a show and then sebastian's coming in tonight and we're just gonna chill like this is like a day that is like perfectly made for me and I'm just really 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 excited um for everything that's happened so far and everything that's to come so yeah I'm gonna leave it at that but thank you all so much for watching this vlog um I like I said like love making videos for you and I love it so much when you guys like comment and engage and like tell me what you like to see and what your favorite videos are and like what you want me to like add to my videos or take away like whatever it is I just love hearing from all of you and like learning about your lives and your tips and tricks so um feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you do like it um and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I post new videos every seven days so I'll be back next week with more new content but like I said I love you all and I'm so excited to come back next week with a new video so ciao